It's like, if you want to be rich, look at what rich people do. Uh, look at how they did. Okay, oh, they, this guy did this. Okay, I might try that. It's trial and error your whole life. The title of this one, being ugly and having no friends at 46, my experience. Holy Damn. shit. Damn. Yeah. You have to be at a certain point to even post that video. Imagine going on YouTube, being ugly and having no friends at 46. It's like, damn, I feel bad though. It's like some people really do not have any friends. I think people think that life's a fairy tale and some people believe certain fairy tales and magic and this is the reality for I think more people than you'd be surprised. And a lot of the people that feel this way and are like that aren't even making videos about it. I think we'll get interesting insight off of this. Yeah, let's see. What do I mean by being ugly? Probably the most common thing would be when I'm referring to uh, looks or bodily appearance. Being ugly is more than just about looks. It can be about personality, behavior around other people, your sense of humor. Get your breath, and brother. So, <laughs> Breathe, brother. Obviously, it would be logical to reason that the reason why I have no friends, people who I can call up on, have a conversation with, probably safe to say because there is something ugly about who I am. And like I said, it's more than just my looks. And... Growing up as a child, I was uh, bullied more frequently than what most people would experience bullying. That kind of uh, led to some challenges, but interestingly enough, I would still have friends and I would still have people to hang out with. And I even had a close friend pretty much all the way up until I was about eight, seven, 18 years of age. We met like in first grade and we became like really close friends all the way up until age 18. I, I hung out with a couple other people. I generally had friends all the way up until around my mid 30s. And that is when things kind of really fell by the wayside. And so pretty much since my mid thirties, essentially had, I've essentially had no friends. And like I said, that's kind of a term that I guess I could kind of use loosely because I mean, you've got like online friends, you've got, you know, acquaintances, but I'm referring to like friends in which you can actually like hang out with like physically, be able to like chat, be able to like hang out, do whatever it may be. And I can attribute that to is there is something ugly about myself. Even like when I post on Facebook and I try to be funny and I think I'm being humorous and I find myself laughing at a particular video I make, I find that uh, especially on Facebook or Instagram, it's like people are just, they're, they're, not, re they're not really seeing any humor. And it's like, I would think that if, if they were finding it humor, they would at least respond saying that was funny or that was awesome or whatnot. But I feel like I feel bad. there are strategic ways to be humorous that, that are gonna at help attract people towards you. And then there are ways that, are that you can try to be humorous, but they're gonna make you sound like a turd. And I have the feeling that my sense of humor, the way I try to come off as funny, is making me sound like a turd. And so hence, you know, kind of, it, it's, it's an ugly way of being uh, humorous. My personality, my personality is probably, it's, it's not charismatic, I'll say that. More than likely that's due to my depression and anxiety as to why my personality is not even close to being charismatic at all. I applaud him for having the self-awareness to go, there's something up with me because I have no friends, people don't seem to respond to me. Some people would think, oh, everyone sucks. He realized, oh wait, I'm not perfect. There are things I could, I should do to improve my uh, social interactions. But he also said he had friends up till 30. He doesn't know what it's like to not have friends. So he's had friends before, so he has something to go off of technically. Like, mm -hmm. why did those work out? Why were they my friends for so long? Or why did I, they enjoy hanging out with me then and not now? Based off of the first glance of him, I don't know if he's, marginally on the spectrum Asperger's I've seen people with mm. Asperger's who have a similar demeanor about them that he does you know I'm looking at his teeth it seems he hasn't really had any dental work before he's not a strikingly like ah 
type of person, mm -hmm. like you said there, it's not solely about his appearance. A lot of it, I think, has to do with his personality. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem developed enough mm -hmm. to attract a, a lot of people. And there's still groups of people, groups he can join, and communities that are very similar, I feel like. I mean, mm -hmm. if he said he's no different than me having online friends and that. Okay, so why are those people online your friends? There's something that you have interest with with these people that you could find in the real world. Is it a matter of all the people who are like him just don't live by him. There are people who are quirky, weird, and they have conventions, friends. Right. Maybe this was his way to kind of meet somebody that's like him. I'm sure there's people in the comments. Oh, I feel the same way. Like, here's my email. Oh, shit. Oh, we'll have to look at the comments <laughs> after. Know. But I'd be curious to know what else he doesn't like about himself or what he thinks yeah. he should fix. And I'd be curious to see what he has tried, like everything he has tried and what didn't work and why it didn't work. Because he said, oh, my personality probably isn't that good because of my anxiety and depression. Huh? Is your personality bad because you have anxiety? Or do you have anxiety because you don't have friends and it's like a that's making you depressed so it's yeah like, there you go self-fulfilling prophecy oh, i'm weird i'm sad now is your anxiety making you have a bad personality or do you have a bad personality because you're acting yeah, yeah. we're gonna get to the bottom of it and then maybe get rid of this striped shirt <laughs> but i don't know i don't wear striped stuff i had to get rid of a lot of my stripes stuff. i said i can't do this anymore yeah it doesn't it is more like childish childish i have a blue bigger stripe i think when you the smaller the stripe yeah so many of them <laughs> and you got a lot of them but that's the rule the older you get the less stripes you get <laughs> and i also think it was maybe in back then like when joggers and stuff were in like stripes and mm -hmm. drop t drop t stripes one thing that programming has taught me and this feel i'm going into has really taught me is if something is not working then there is obviously a malfunction as i would say someone who is positively in a good sense humorous. They know how to socially interact with other people. They know how to say the right things. They're attractive. I mean, let's face it, even physical attractiveness is really important. It's gonna help them be able to uh, make friends and whatnot. But if you don't have any of those things going for you, obviously you're gonna have difficulty making new friends, establishing relationships and whatnot. It's, it's not like I'm just like sitting in my apartment all day, never venturing out and whatnot. Uh, a master's degree in data science, I'm doing it part-time right now. Uh, I get out there and ski. Obviously I come across a lot of people when I'm skiing on the mountain, even during this time. We're having to like socially distance and whatnot. I'm doing cycling. Of course, before the pandemic, I was doing obstacle course racing, Tough Mudder, Spartans, even going to like post uh, after parties and whatnot. Damn. So it was not like I wasn't not putting myself out there, but there he was, was trying. something really ugly about myself that is repelling people from me, that, that is inhibiting me from being able to establish those relationships. And one thing, and I'm gonna make a separate video about this that's really interesting about data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. Let's just use an example. Let's, I'm just gonna kind of uh, make, create an example here as to why this field is really exciting and how I feel it could ultimately reduce, if not potentially end loneliness and help all of us who feel ugly inside to one day feel attractive, not physically, but attractive overall. Cause that's when it comes down to making friends, when it comes down to dating, finding intimacy, it all comes down to having that attractive personality, you know, in combination of looks, personality, humor, the way you speak. And so let's say uh, you decide to have 100 people have a 45 minute conversation with an interviewer. The interviewer will ask the exact same questions to every person person and these 100 people have a you know they have a good uh, close circle of friends they're in a relationship you do some analysis on their voice uh, patterns like you have some interface that's like measuring their speech rate their voice amplitude what their range of amplitude is pause between words uh how many what's their frequency of saying certain types of words eye contact and you will probably notice patterns now take another sample of 100 people and they speak with the the same interviewer same exact environment but yet these 100 people have no friends they've never had a, you know they've pretty much never had a relationship. And you would probably notice differences in speech patterns, amp, you know, amplitude, uh, voice inflection patterns, uh, eye contact, body, you know, body posture. What I'm getting at is I feel like this artificial intelligence, the use of machine learning, you know, you know, with advanced machine learning models and whatnot is the way that's gonna, it's gonna lead 
to the way to ultimately reduce what I kind of refer to as, I shouldn't say I, it's, I've read the, uh, read the term in articles, and it's called despair, uh, despair, uh, death, I can't now. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I really like the way he's thinking about it, very analytical and pragmatic. Yes, if you did take a group of people who had no friends, and a group of people who are very cool, friendly, had socially. A lot of people, socially inept, whatever, and compared how they interact with others, you would see- A big difference. Big differences, you, you see similarities, and for the people with good personalities, you see how they act, whatever, and then you could sit there and go, hmm, the people who have the most friends often speak in a louder tone. Mm -hmm. A lot of people might say stuff like, what everyone thinks, you know, who cares, whatever. Uh, I don't care what anyone thinks about me, blah, blah, blah. That's a good sentiment, but to an extent- I was gonna say, to an extent now. You have to care what people think of you in order to move your way in the world in a, I would say, successful way. Uh, yeah, but it's like people that say that stuff never felt the way that this guy's felt. So right. it's easy to say that. Uh -huh. But this guy's watching every self-help self -help video, remembering all these things so when he goes out into the real world, he can apply it and then be the person he wants to be. How can you even be yourself and you're like, I just met this person, but I didn't say this, but I did that. And he's, <laughs> he's like killing himself right now. He's doing the skippy. Did he say he had some sort of thing like ADHD? He, did, he didn't mention it yet. I can see it. There's the way some, he's looking around, the way he's something. talking. like the, But again, if he, the, he's super smart. Um, and he's trying his best, like you said, to make it work. It's almost like if you look at a robot, like an AI robot who can say what a human says and move like a human, but you look at it and you go, but that's not a human. His brain is reminding me, he's speaking like a robot to me. Mm -hmm. Feels like that. I like where his thought feel, process is and you can pick and choose, okay, if I want to seem a bit more calm in a situation, I'll talk slower. But I also feel like he's at like step one where he's gathering all this info and he's realizing okay. what I need to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then maybe what's gonna help him is that experience. Yeah, like which, him experimenting with what he knows, right? He knows he all these different things. He picks one thing. I need to work on this first and then yeah. go up there. Cause it sucks when you don't have confidence because then that kind of takes over a lot of different things about you, like your style and the way you carry yourself. So it's like, yeah, but you can't have confidence when you're stressed out, anxious, and depressed. So then you have to work on that. Right. You know what I mean? So once you can build that and have the confidence, then yeah, because you can change the way you look. You can do your hairstyle. You can get your teeth right. Mm -hmm. You can get a new outfit, learn about style, things like that appearance wise, but you can't do that when you don't have confidence, so it sucks. It's like a negative snowball effect. Yeah. So yeah. He says like, oh, I need to feel this way, I need to do this, and confidence and being able to carry yourself and being attractive in your personality is what works. He can't do that yet. It sucks, but like, how do you tell him to stop feeling that way? You can't. Right? But it's yeah. like, in a sense, it looks like it's just double time is just going to continue to be that way. How do you make a not cool person Cool. Like some things you just can't teach and you, some things you just can't learn. Right? You like, could always be stuck because what if yourself you never figure it out? And he's got this eclectic demeanor because I can see mm -hmm. why he doesn't have friends. But we also haven't seen him interact with people. Is he the person where he just goes and goes and nobody gets to talk? Does he know how to read the room? He's just going and going and going. Maybe he's never been around people to like, I don't know, listen a little bit or... He, yeah, he says he goes to all his events and all these things, but, but we didn't see how we act. Are you interacting with people? Mm -hmm. Or are you just there? Yeah. Or is this a matter of some people just don't have it? Let's say everyone is a Fruit Loop and you're just a Cheerio. And no matter how hard you spray paint that bitch, whatever, but, you'll never be a But if we just loop. said there's a lot of people that aren't filming themselves sitting there, there's other Cheerios just like him. Yeah. Right? So it's his best chance. Another Cheerio? Just find another Cheerio, but again, like you said, is there a matter of proximity that people don't live around him? I would say no. I feel like there has to be somebody within the state that's yeah. you know, just like that. I don't know how you'd find that. Do you need to move? And find and okay, let's say financial. He don't have that, or clearly he does. He's making, he's doing some crazy. He jobs. is doing some smart shit. He said he's put himself out there. Is he put himself out there in all the wrong places? Like okay, but what if he really likes skiing and all the people that he goes around to ski, they just don't mess with him? Can you make somebody like you if you think they don't like you? Yeah, I don't think he's there we, yet. Like with the conversations and the social aspect of it all like maybe he needs a little bit more practice maybe How do you get better at that if he is doing that <laughs> yeah, like, that's true. making <laughs> friends is hard enough for regular people and then you're 46 and weird and you're calling yourself ugly so you now you're not confident yeah. and there's less things to really do when you're 46 that's like can't really go to the club well anymore. i feel like the older you get aren't 
personal relationships like one of the most important things. That you family. need them. There's a reason why I'm just, like, I don't know, when you have families, you don't even have your family now. Yeah. But if you don't even have a family, I'm like, all right, well, I need a friend. The only thing that I could possibly think that would help him, yes, look at it from an analytical perspective, competent people are people who are like, people who have a lot of friends tend to X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Pick and choose some things from that. Other than that, you just gotta get in the field somehow. You have to be around people constantly. Practicing conversations with random people. Oh, what a lovely uh, thing it is today. Oh yeah, that's cool. But yeah, see, like, like that's minute. so easy for us to say though. It is, but isn't that the only way? That's the only way though. Or at least go into the metaverse and do the virtual hangout with people. And practice. At least, practice. And you can hear people's voice in there. Yeah, you can, it feels like you're talking to them in real life. Like you can't sit there and say there's no option, there's no solution. Death due to dis disparities, meaning like, Oftentimes, sometimes I can't really uh, rule out an overdose death as a suicide because it could be accidental or it could be suicidal, but they're calling these like deaths of disparities, meaning people who are in despair oftentimes may resort to using uh, drugs like hard drugs like heroin, cocaine, or they may, you know, start, you know, binge drinking. Regardless of whatever drugs they start becoming addicted to, sometimes to get that feel good feeling, you're going to resort to using drugs. And so, you know, if you're, you get to the point where you become so accustomed to using this drug that you risk having an overdose and whether or not it's, it's accidental or maybe it's intentional, that's where kind of the line is drawn. They don't really know. I think his problem is he might be that technically guy. Like he might know too much info. Uh -huh. So you're at a party hanging out with people like, hey, try this truly. Technically, do you know what's in there? If it does this to your body and it's like, well then yeah, like it's hard to be your friend at that point. But then again, I don't know how he interacts with people. I mean, just you're a data programmer. Like, everything's a math formula to you. I think you're absolutely right by saying it's like an analysis paralysis thing. If, if you look up a hundred videos on how to talk to girls, you're gonna be sitting there, <laughs> speech, <laughs> confidence, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then when you are out there now, you're like, oh, I didn't say that. Yeah. And I've even found myself knowing too much. There's an art to like take, social interaction. Yeah, take yeah. what you need. Take Letting things, things be said, stopping, giving it some time, some the pacing. Like you don't look up a video how to be funny and then write down the exact jokes that guy said and said, I'm gonna use all these. No, some people naturally are gifted with it and others have none of it. But then I think it'd be fair to say people that have really good personalities, I bet you could ask a handful, pull study and most of them be like, oh, I've never watched a how to talk to people or never done that. Fact. So some people are like, oh, I don't even think it, I don't think that much into it. it comes to me naturally, like you said, so. But can you separate yourself when you've just put all this data in your head? You have all these bins telling you this, 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 calculating every single move. Girls like guys who talk a bit slower, but let me, but let me not try to no, Don't literally talk. do that. Yeah, I think someone like that, you put them in an environment. He's like literally trying people. to fix everything. Right. Sensory overload, like, uh, Start the, hey, nice to meet you. How do you, what you like to do? Yeah, yeah I just feel like it's a little bit like that. We watch Love on the Spectrum on Netflix. Yes, it's the, like that. The dating coach is like makes you ask some questions. Cool. And the Matthew guy. So, what do you like to eat? Gives her a question. And what do you? What's your favorite dog? These are some like tools to yeah. use. Yes. A to Z. You have to use every tool in the book for every single thing. But then again, like this guy seems smart, so it feels like he would he know, would know to, that. That there's nuance to this. Yeah. He's a math guy, but there's math and then there's art. It's two different sides of your brain. Yeah. The analytical thing and then the art creative communicative go with the flow type of thing. You gotta be able to tap into it and. Ooh. Yeah, and then that's when you can have that attractive personality that you want. When you're over analytical and you're not operating in that way, it, it's hard to come out. Knowing that you're 45 and neat, it's like you're almost running out of time, so it's even more pressure. And you say it, they go, all right, sir, have a good day, bye. They hate you. No, I'm okay. Get away from me, sir. You're creeping me out. Let's see what he says. What I'm getting at is I feel like it's gonna become a combination of th a therapeutic, uh, therapeutical methods in combination with using artificial intelligence <laughs> to really dive deep into this art of social interaction because it, it, there is a science behind this art of successful social interaction. There is an art to developing a more attractive persona within ourselves. That's what I'm getting at. Someone who is ugly, an ugly person, yes. and I'm not talking about my look, my looks in general, I'm talking about my, pers my persona in general because I have 
an ugly persona, it is logical, it is a logical assumption to assume that that's probably why I have no friends. That's probably why I'm a loner. That's probably why I have difficulty finding a good job where I can't even get an interview. Oh, I have no network is because my persona is ugly. I will say that humans being very visual creatures, like we are animals, we are not these perfect things. Humans view someone that's unattractive as bad. Yeah, which is fucked. And they view beauty as good. They're not putting quote unquote ugly people on billboards right. when you go in for a job interview. And so the, the Calvin Klein models was always a clean cut looking man with a nice physique. Job yeah. interviews, I'm gonna pick the guy that might not even be as good for the job. No, I'm not saying me personally, but yeah. I bet you this is what other people do subconsciously. They're picking the person that looks a bit better and presents themselves better mm. as opposed to the harder to look at rough around the edges person. He can't even get a job and he's so smart. Don't even matter. It's like, that's how important social skills are. And it's easier for us because we have three brains to talk about what he could be doing. Like if you don't have anybody to talk to, your judgments are whatever you think is right or wrong. And we're all changing our minds as we speak. He don't even got that option. So he has to make a video and just see what other people- and, Which is probably the best thing he did. Yeah, that's probably the, actually is probably the best thing yeah. he did. So this is probably the best thing he did was making his video. Yeah. Because like I said, he was talking, he had nobody to talk to. Yeah. I don't get how he like lost his friends though. Like at 30. He didn't, yeah. He didn't explain right? He didn't explain Well, I guess the same way other people lose friends, which is they move away, people start having families, mm. and then you're just the guy that didn't get a job that never got married, and then you in your 46. In your, in your two bedroom thing, you can't hold on a job. That leads to a lot of loneliness, that leads to depression, anxiety. There you go. It makes, it leads to questioning uh, my purpose of my existence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And people will be like, you gotta quit, you know, degrading yourself, but I'm just being honest. I'm, I'm perfectly being honest that I realized that there is something ugly about myself that is repelling people. I mean, it's kind of difficult for me to really come up with videos where I try to be funny or whatnot because maybe I'm laughing at them, but to other people, I may be sounding like a complete turd. You know, turd. Really, you know, just Stop using that word. <laughs> And so that's kind of <laughs> afraid to cuss and everything. Really uploading any kind of videos where I kind of, you know, I start laughing or whatnot because really, I don't know if I'm really doing more harm to myself. Fuck. So. <laughs> I've kind of come to the point where now that I'm really getting into this field of data science and realizing that there's a, a science to this art of social interaction, mm -hmm. an art to having an attractive personality, the art to being attractive overall. And so I find it's best that I kind of have to uh, adopt a neutral stance, meaning like when I'm going out skiing, maybe I need to stop wearing these bright colors when I'm skiing it because I wear this like super bright orange uh, cycling vest and whatnot. And that's okay if I'm cycling because you want to be seen. You don't want to have some car pull out, cold cock a car at some, you know, miles per hour and that could be really bad. But when what? I'm skiing out in the mountain, <laughs> do I really need to be- <laughs> Did he say cold cock? <laughs> what the no. Maybe get like a gray or black, you know, jacket. My pants are okay, but just kind of make myself more discreet not like you know make it so i'm not like trying to grab attention when i'm out in the mountain and i'm doing cycling why not keep a straight face don't like you know start exaggerating or like so <laughs> try to just be like i just need to be i just need he's to thinking too much he's thinking, he's thinking way too, too much of whatever's making me ugly completely strip of it the old adage is like just be yourself and you'll attract people who like you for who you are they will like you for being you. I find uh, some flaws with that because unfortunately we do live in a society, I feel like we live in a society where you cannot truly be yourself. You've got to be within a range of what is acceptable. There you go. Correct. That's fine. To fit in, to be able to be accepted, to be able to be loved. And if you're outside of that range, it's going to become more difficult mm. and you risk, you know, spending more time alone and whatnot. So pretty much what I've got to really focus on and next time I go skiing, I'm going to really be focusing on this. And fuck. tomorrow I think I'm going to go and buy myself a gray. Something that's aerodynamic, but like black you know, or gray. Something that's a lot more discreet. And when I'm skiing, I'm just going to focus on keeping a straight face. <laughs> It doesn't really matter too much because I'm You're thinking, you're whatnot, overthinking it, my guy. He was dropping gems for a second. He's almost there. And I really look back to this. So next time, focus on my face. So he, shirt. he seems like the most unaware, self-aware guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, how you know so much, but don't know? He's telling me things. I'm like, oh, I'm learning things. I'm like, then yeah, yeah. I'm like, wait, bro, he lost me there. And making no faces while I'm skiing. Just, just brother, I swear it. to God, it's not that. 
People aren't looking at you. Now, okay, if you if you go from the fluorescent to the straight jet black, okay, the jet black is cool. All right, we could do that. But you could still be dope and rock the, the, and the bright go. color. I'd be like, oh, I've never seen anybody wear bright colors like that before. But he, that's what I'm saying. He thinks everything has to fit perfect. Because when you date a stuff, everything has to be perfect. Conversations don't have to be perfect. People aren't perfect, and yet you can still have a cohesive like relationship with somebody. Yeah, you can be cool and wear something loud. You can be cool, wear something plain. You can wear something queer and be cool. You wear something not weird, be cool. You can wear something not weird and be lame. I think he thinks everything has to check a box because what he does, the code has to be perfect for that website to run, for the thing to do that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. he, real life, has to be wired perfectly. I'm over here like, is the red too bright for the red? <laughs> <laughs> but he was speaking facts like, just be yourself and everyone. Yes, that's great. But if you stray out of a bubble that's too crazy, you risk alienating yourself yeah, to where people won't fuck with you. He's like talking this. about stripping away everything and doing this and that. Then you're not yourself then. So mm -hmm. then you gotta find that balance of how you can take the things you've learned and apply that to who you are. Because then at the end of the day, it gets tiring and then that's not who you are if you're trying to do all these other things. Yeah. Self-improvement without losing your own sense of self so that way you can still be happy and not be putting on a mask every day you go out fucking Heath Ledger Joker. Because then every day you're like, okay, I'm going to the grocery store today. There's gonna be the cashier there. I gotta make sure I do this with my face. And then but you can take some tools, add them to your arsenal, and then maybe you'll get a little bit more progress. Which is probably what he's trying to do. Correct. Become a little bit more natural at it. It's probably the best bet. You know, just kind of do it really discreetly. Don't exaggerate. Uh. Be serious. <laughs> and have fun. Like if I'm Yo. gonna say I'm having fun, just be like, hmm, that was a pretty cool run. I'm gonna do that again, but don't be like, whoa. <laughs> oh, he's a robot. Because that's probably what he did before. Yelling, moving, hollering. So that's got to be like, or I'm skiing, or running the Alpental backcountry, and it's becoming challenging. Just be like, oh, yeah, this doesn't want this run. Doesn't seem to want to end. Okay, keep going, keep going. All right, all right. I'm obviously slowing down. Just kind of be neutral. So. Holy there shit. is a lot of work I got to do on myself. It's like it's kind of like an if-else statement. If something isn't working. Don't continue it. If something works, continue with it. So obviously what I've been doing is not working. So I need to switch the routine a little bit, make myself more neutral, strip myself of any annoyances, and just kind of start from the from the beginning. Maybe maybe I can be like an observer, kind of watch how other people interact. What are the types of things they say? What kinds of things are likely to make people laugh? What's you know, what what can I do? And just kind of be an observer. And just kind of like build from the beginning. And then maybe once I get, you know, more comfortable, then I can be like, you know, if I meet you know, once this pandemic ends and people I'm, i sit with someone that chairless, maybe I can be like How's your day going? You've been up here in the mountain lot. And it's kind okay. of really super basic. And from there, that's, you know, that's where it starts getting a lot more complicated. <laughs> like how to be, being able to, how to, you know, maintain a conversation. <laughs> Yo, thanks. Bro, yeah, he's overthinking. Oh, wow. It's a nice day for skiing, don't you think? Perfect. Yeah, nice day outside. Got my new snowboard, so. You guys ski often? Yeah, no, I come out yeah. here. Uh, it's like a weekly thing for yeah. me. Cool. At that point, you malfunction because it's like, I've never been this far. I didn't think I'd get past it. Hey, how you doing? And again, I think we takes back to everything doesn't have to be perfect. Because yeah. Like, same way, like, there's things you should you can say to a girl to woo her. There's not a one way. There's no one answer. I, there's not one. Yeah, one, one size fits, fits all. all. And he's trying to do that. Well, you're stressing me out because <laughs> none of us have thought that deep. Yeah, you should speak slower, but maybe you take one thing to think about it. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah, finish it out. And whatnot. But I just wanted to kind of get this video out there and just kind of share my thoughts and just the struggle of really feeling like that uh, I'm being, you know, that I'm, you know, this being ugly leads to a lot of loneliness, uh, just a lot of emptiness, kind of a lack of purpose in life, kind of even hopeless, and, you know, am I going to really ever amount to anything? Fuck. Wow. My battery's about to run out, so I'm just going to kind of cut it short before this video gets too long. I thought he said his battery was going to run out. Thank you for watching. Don't do that, brother. I really do respect this guy. I don't know if y'all saw the movie Soul. Um, I didn't watch it. The Pixar watch movie. Yeah. Everyone, if y'all haven't seen Soul, y'all got to watch that shit. It gave me like a I good perspective. Nah. There was a scene in it. Uh, there was a like millions of file cabinets, and there was one name that was missing. And this guy had to go through and he had to find the person that was missing. What did he do? He went every single file thing. It's what he's doing and I think that is one way to success, which is, all right, he knows if it's broken, let's fix it. So he's gonna, let's try this. If it didn't work when I had the bright thing on, I'll go black. Okay, the black's not seeming to work. I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this. 
can go through every file cabinet and then he'll find the, oh. Oh, it worked. I got a friend. I've said the, he did the, hey, how you doing conversation to 4,000 people. Finally figured out the right pattern. He's like, I finally set up a time to hang out with him now. So for someone like this, that might be his only way is trial and error and you can tell that he put a lot of time and energy into learning about this and trying to be better so i really wish the best for him and i wish he's made a couple friends after this video <laughs> i also think there's something about projecting positivity just even saying you're ugly he just made it seem like he's a loser all the time you can tell yourself like you know what i feel good today like i'm confident even though you're not i think there's something powerful about just speaking it out or like even like arnold the bodybuilder guy who was saying like how you're supposed to think about the muscle getting bigger as even when you lift it <laughs> because then your brain will actually make you flex that muscle more and they say, look at yourself in the mirror. There is more to the mind that he could probably yeah. self-help self a little bit by just making him say he's better. I want to see the comment. You gotta have an update video. He has to. Oh, well, we got an update pin comment. Keep in mind that this video is over three months old. I have gotten off the couch, ditched that striped shirt, Rob told me to get rid of it, <laughs> and have joined a few different hiking groups. I feel I have made a significant progress compared to where I was this past March and compared to my 40s for that matter. Thank you to all the viewers out there and all your helpful suggestions and I even welcome the constructive criticism. Although I have made a lot of progress, I still have very long ways to go. I still do battle with those feelings of being ugly inside. I take one day at a time. Wow, I am in awe. When I first uploaded this video, I was questioning myself as to whether I should have deleted it. In all honesty, I'm quite surprised at the positive feedback, encouragement, and kind responses I've received, and most thankful for all you guys' support. Loneliness knows no boundaries and can affect anyone at any age. It frequently is suggested that as we age, Making friends does become much harder. Although I cannot respond to every single comment, it is great to see others responding to other comments and showing support as loneliness is plaguing our world. Holy shit. <sighs> he didn't tell a lie in any of that. He's a he, smart guy. He knows what he's talking about. Let's see these comments. Uh, no one has friends anymore. It's not just you. It will come. Keep doing what you're doing. The beauty of the internet is this guy just found thousands of people like him now. Facts. He wasn't saying like, I'm an ugly monster. Yeah. No. He's speaking about some aspect of his personality was repulsive and he used ugly as the placeholder word. Uh, does he have a, on his channel, does he have any new videos? He's still skiing. He's working out too. Wait a minute. Why he look cooler? He does look, he looks more happy. He got some more confidence. Go to him at the gym. He was over there pushing shit. Superset exercise. Wait a minute, he, he juiced. He said, this gotta work. That number one thing to improve yourself is lifting weights. Facts. I can do it. Damn, this guy got a heart. I mean, he's actually lifting. Holy shit. I can't I lift. Can't I can't lift. That. I can't deadlift that much. God damn, he really pushing that shit. He's actually taking the action though. Like, he knows. Wow. Yeah, it's not like he's sitting there complaining still. He's trying everything. Oh, he's doing a circuit. Oh, dude, this dude's a monster. Shit. God. Respect, respect. Props to him for taking initiative, having self-awareness, a, yeah. dec a decent amount of it. And constantly striving to be better and pushing himself to gain these attributes that he wants. He's not saying, just accept me how I am. Well, just why everyone's evil. He didn't blame the world. He didn't blame it. He, bl he blamed himself for his position, I don't think people do. No. Nah. And that takes balls, and that takes a lot of courage. Good for him. I guess if you're in a similar situation to him, stepping back, being analytical about it to some extent, taking pages from other people's books. It's like, if you wanna be rich, look at what rich people do. Uh, look at how they did, okay, oh, they, this guy did this. Okay, I might try that. It's trial and error, your whole life. That was, That's my three cents, is if you see something wrong, trial and error and just keep going. And you might find a solution after one of those attempts that you did. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep it going one day at a time.